Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tip of the Hats 2015. You are watching the surf segment, the much-awaited, much-anticipated surfing segment. I Lang, with me is Truck Truck and Mr. Slynn. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Fantastic. That is what I like to hear, gentlemen. So, we have the surf segment here. The first map is going to be Surf ACP, and I believe in Mumble with us, we have the surfers. Surfers, are you there? Surfers, are you there? Copy? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Howdy. Hey, hey. you're loud and clear. You guys ready to, re ready to do some surfing? I think so. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, we have Red Sea uh, about to surf a map called Surf ACP. It's uh, it's an easier map to get us get us warmed up. Do you wanna do you wanna start off? Start up, Red Sea. Right now. Let's I get us go. going. Yeah, we're going right away. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, so this is Red Sea. <coughs> Uh, he's a surfer from TF2. We have uh, actually two surfers from, at least originated from each surfing community, which is, whoa, what's happening? You lagging? Yeah, lag, big time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh. He's entering mm. a new dimension. This is not this how you surf, fine. by the way. <laughs> okay, we we fixed it. Red Sea's from the TF2 surf community. Even though we're surfing in CS:GO, it doesn't really matter what game you surf in. Uh, as long as you're having fun. Uh, we're doing it in CSGO because it's the most popular surf game currently. Uh, all of the surf games include uh, TF2, CSGO, Counter-Strike Source, Counter-Strike 1.6, uh, Gary's Mod, and I'm pretty sure you can surf in any Source game, so you probably, could, you probably could surf in Left 4 Dead and mm -hmm. Dota 2 uh, if you really wanted Wait, to. Wait, you could surf in Dota 2? I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a Source pretty. game. I don't know. No, about that. I, I want to surf and do it. Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty? That is not a Source yeah. Engine game. Oh, you can like surf in it. Okay. Like some surf maps. Yeah. But yeah, this is a, an easier map to get us warmed up. We're gonna try to complete as many maps as possible. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, and, uh, do you want to go for the basic explaining how how surfing works? Oh yeah, I mean, surfing. The basic surf mechanics are uh, you s use your strafe keys, which are usually uh, A and D, and you use your mouse in, uh, in, uh, in sync mm -hmm. with the strafe keys to navigate through the map. Yeah, and this is skill surfing, so yes. basically it's an obstacle course, and yes. the objective is to get from the beginning to the end. And this, this particular level, by the way, is so difficult because the, the ramps are invisible. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why anyone would do this, but well, the ramps are Well, there's a big invisible. shortcut, which is actually easier than doing the map correctly. He's probably going to fall off uh, the third ramp, I believe, and land near the end right. of the stage. This is actually quite tricky uh, with all the ramps invisible. Yeah, it's really interesting because uh, the surf maps are all you know, the same, even though they're across different games. Yes, so. it, it's, it's, it's essentially the same experience. Uh, when you get better and better, uh, most of the higher level surfers end up in, uh, in source, uh, where the times are the most competitive. Right. But there are very, very, very good surfers in every, every game that yeah. there is surfing. So uh, yeah. Yeah, Red Sea's an absolute beast. He has all the best times. Yeah, he's just an amateur in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in CSGO. But in, uh, in, in Source, he is a, he's a beast. Uh. That's just his, <laughs> yeah, that's just, it's just his rank. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So this is the last stage of this map. Yep. Chugging right through it. You yeah, know, I, I actually used to have this world record, but then I think Red Sea took it for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That was during my so, surf hibernation. So what, it, so what is a world record, Muffins? For those that have no idea what uh, you're talking about. <laughs> a world record is nice. the player who's done the map the quickest out of like everyone who surfed the map. So I had a pretty good time, but then Red Sea beat it on Counter-Strike Source. So now he has the best time. Yes. So in, yeah. uh, in skill surf... I beat the map. <laughs> good job, well Red Sea. Well done. The next map is going to be uh, Surf Fast which is a very, uh, it's kind of like a meme-looking map. It's very fast. Uh, it's fast. But it's actually <laughs> a fantastic map. Uh, I believe Nim and Muffins are going to be racing on it uh, to see who beats this four-stage map uh, quickly, or first. Um, yeah, you countdown? guys can start immediately. Uh, <laughs> Three, two, one. Good start, Muffins. Oh, okay. no, yeah, that's yeah, the strat. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's strat. the strat. That's the strat. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was just goofing. <laughs> this part actually gets crazy. If, uh, yeah. oh, there's there's a, shortcut, a huge shortcut right, on this right. stage, but it's kind of hard to do first try. So both of them are playing it safe and uh, just going around. The shortcut actually involves you going over a wall 
to basically the end of the stage. Yeah. And uh, for those guys who aren't familiar with surfing, you can only touch the ramps, but uh, if the stage is broken, you can actually, like, touch other things sometimes or go around like places like off, that shortcut. Like, uh, certain yeah. platforms to do sh certain shortcuts. Right. Uh, some uh, some servers are... <laughs> yeah, Nip's just throwing in a casual Nip's spin. Nip's just throwing down a spin. <laughs> <laughs> just show it off at this point. But yeah, this map uh, uh, actually has uh, the speed cap removed. So you go really, really fast on this map. Right. And this map is also has some of the best theming in any sub Yeah, it's map. Sonic. It's, it's yeah, all I, Sonic. And the you, music in there, too, if you if have If you turn music. the sound on, there is music. But I believe the server has it muted. Or you have to toggle it on. It's basically just Sonic music. Also Rip Vod, you know. Yeah, Rip yeah. Vod. Yeah, Rip Vod. <laughs> I, I, Not had happening. The, I had the music removed because... That just gets so obnoxious. It, it does get a little obnoxious, mm, especially if you're a newer surfer and you get stuck on a stage. Uh, this map is not the easiest in the world, even though they are making it look easy. If you're spending 20 minutes on the same stage listening to a 15-second loop for 20 minutes, it's pretty rough. It's not right. a, it's not a fa fantastic experience. Oh, that's, so, by the way, that's my favorite part about surfing. I mean, this is one of my favorite segments every year for Tip of the Hats because, oh yeah? yeah, there's jumping and it looks impressive, but surfing... If they do it right, it makes it look super easy and effortless. Yes. And everything's just super smooth, especially when the way they turn. And you have to turn at a very specific speed to keep your momentum. And yes. Just, the whole thing is just amazing. Yeah, they, yeah. It's something that when you're watching someone good, it looks easy. But when you try it yourself for the first time, it is incredibly difficult mm -hmm. to wrap your head around it. Like, you never press W while you're on the key. You don't go forward. You just strafe and use the ramps and the boosters to propel yourself forward. Right. So uh, the way the ramps work is when you're going down a ramp, you gain speed, but you lose height. Yes. And then when you go up a ramp, you lose height, but or you lose speed, but you yes. gain height. Yes. So they're just manipulating the there's, ramps. Too. There's hundreds of small, small mechanics that you learn as you get better and better. So it looks like Nim won. Good job, Nim. Congrats, Nim. <laughs> He is the Go ultimate the memer. <laughs> are, are we doing the bonus stage on this one? Uh, no, there are co-op okay. bonus stages on this one, right. but I don't think there is surfing on any of them. Yeah, we don't have the time for it. That's good. Oh, uh, there is. There is finish. surfing on one, but it's yeah. like super grav surfing. So we're just cruising through all these maps. We have a lot of yeah. maps to get through today. So, uh, Here's Trafflecopter on Elysium 2, which was just uh, released a month ago or so, yeah. like three weeks ago. It's a fantastic map made by Sacred and someone else. I, I don't know, but it's beautiful. I think uh, Crazy helped with the bonus. Yes. Good to go. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Travelcopter is actually probably, I, I can't think of a streamer that, a surfer streamer that has more viewers. He's the most popular uh, streamer uh, for surfing on Twitch. I I'm pretty sure I got him partnered. Oh yeah? <laughs> I'm nice. pretty sure. That was well, it. he is very, he's a very nice guy, and he also happens to be one of the best surfers in the world. Uh, no pressure, don't screw up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to check out his stream, it's just Trafflecopter, twitch.tv twitch forward slash Trafflecopter. Nice. Uh, yeah. What I like about these maps is that, well, there's different like variations, right? There's like super fast maps, which we just saw on Surf Fast and Elysium 2, but then there's also like the slower maps that are like a little trickier, but you're... Yeah. Moving slower, but this these are really fun to watch. Very he's going... difficult, and he's making it look super yeah. easy. Right, like this map is like actually really difficult. But look, you'll see this guy. When just, you like, watch a video through. of this map, or you watch Trafflecopter play it, you're gonna think it's an an easier map, but in fact, it's uh, a tier five out of six, which I means it it's six. very difficult. It right. is. It's tier five, I believe. I uh, mm. uh, can you explain tiers, Slyn? For yeah, me? yeah. So there's six different tiers of surfing. Six is the hardest. One is the easiest. I believe ACP, the first map we saw, was tier two. Uh, I think it's ranked tier four for some reason, but mm. it's probably tier three. A, okay. A middle of the road map. Sure. And then you know tier five starts getting very difficult. Where tier six, you have to hit like all the rest basically perfectly. It's, I mean, it's you have to be a very very good surfer to even yeah. complete the map. Right. And tier 5 is, is also very close yes. to that, especially when you get to the upper ends of tier 5. You know, if you, every tier has different parts to it, so high tier 3 or low tier 3. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people surf for a lot of different reasons. Some people really like the easier maps, but they like to power out a really really good time on it. And some people like yeah. to just play super difficult maps and improve that way. There's many different ways you can improve. And people like Travelcopter just do everything really fast. Yeah, <laughs> he's just really good at surfing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I fall into the second bucket of people who just like beating new maps because it's kind of fun to just challenge yourself to see yes. if you can beat it. 
But even getting new times is, is difficult as well because you're like, okay, let's see if I can break top 100 or yes. break top 50. Yeah, oh, oh, by the way, uh, surfing actually has a point system which ranks players based on times. Uh, I don't know why I brought that up because it's incredibly hard to explain. Can any of you guys explain that easily? No? Well, uh, when you beat a map, you get points for being that yes. map. And if you get a better time on that map, uh, relative to everybody else's time, then you get more points. Thank so you. If you go Ooh. top exactly. 10 on the map, you'll get like way more points. So World that gives record. that gives points. that adds a competitiveness to surfing and yeah, certainly. Uh, right. gives people a reason to play maps more than just once. Right. I mean the the plugins that they have for these servers are great for tracking your times, but also just competing against other people on the server. Yes. And then you get to the point where you're always competing against the same people, especially when you get to these upper levels of surfing, and that's why all these guys just know each other. They have a great yes. surfing community out there of guys who are just super into surfing. And uh, what was crazy to me was that when I first saw surfing, I was like, I don't know anyone who would just surf, only surf. Like, wouldn't you just play TF2 yes. or just play CSGO? But like, what's the point? It's a whole game within itself to the point where you could just surf. Like, that's all you do. And yeah. That's, that's... You want to get global elite in matchmaking, but you <laughs> might want to get, like, top 10 on a surf map. Which might not seem that great, but top 10 is is pretty big feat on most surf servers. Uh, right now we're surfing on the CGN surf servers, uh, which is a community in CSGO. But there are communities in, in CSGO and, and in every surf uh, game you can surf on. And all of them have timers that uh, are global within the server. So you don't have nice. to play on just one server over and over and over to, uh, to get times. Well done. Mm -hmm. Well done. And yeah, good job, Tr Truffle. Uh, the next map's going to be Stonework 3. It's going to be a race between Red Sea and Remco. Cool. Oh, by the way, do you want to plug the, uh, the, the raffle that we're doing right now, the timed raffle? Do you know what that is? I don't, but I can find that out for All you, right. Curtis. Well, the timed raffle, well, I can do that. The timed raffle, <laughs> if you donate $5 within, by the end of this segment, which should be ending at the end of this hour, uh, you have a chance to win one of six knives we are giving away. Uh, just $5 Whoa. and you're entered in. $5 or more, and that goes on, that adds on to any other raffles you enter. This is just a bonus incentive. So you don't have to actually do anything to be entered into it. Just donate $5, five or, more. Five or more. Put your same ID yep. in there. Cool. Uh, if you guys want to start, I can count you down. Uh, this is an right, incredibly cool. difficult map, in my opinion. That's one of the harder tier 5 maps. Uh, you guys ready? Three, yep. two, one. Yep. So this is... Uh, right. this hey, Rumco. Hello. Hey. He's from the Netherlands. Yeah, do you guys want to do a, a walkthrough first? I didn't really introduce any of you guys. I, I'm, I'm doing a pretty bad job of this. I'm the only yeah, European you really surfer are. here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Muffins. Uh, yeah, man. You're banned from my stream, by the way. Oh, rest okay. in peace. <laughs> okay. Roasted. Uh, well, this map is so hard because the angles are so tight. I mean, these spins that you're seeing them do are just... Incredible. Yeah, and each stage gets this slightly harder worst. and harder and harder. Stage three is. Oh. You probably haven't even seen the last stage then, Slend. The last I've, stage is 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 pretty pretty hard. I, I I hope they don't get stuck on it. I've only ever gotten to stage four, so this I mean this turn right there they make it look so easy. Just yeah. to get to that ramp right there, you yeah. have to cut through. Uh, and there's like a little lip on the ramp that you have to avoid and. The whole thing, and then yeah. the way they keep momentum like and not hit their heads on the ceiling is incredible. Yeah, this map's all about maintaining your speed while going high enough without hitting your head, but low enough, uh, but not too low, so you can make still make it to the ramp, the next ramp. Yeah, that happens a lot in surfing, where you get to not go too high or not go too low in order to continue. Like it happens so much on so many maps. Sure, and it's kind of annoying sometimes. So we were going through but, introductions uh, of players, and uh, yeah. we we have a collection of the top surfers yes, in the world from here. from around the world. <laughs> yes. Uh, but maybe you guys can quickly introduce yourselves. Yeah, uh, Remco, where, oh, where are you from, if you don't mind? Uh, uh, from the Netherlands. Netherlands. And uh, what game do you primarily surf in? Uh, nowadays, I surf Source, but I originally come from CSGO, where All I right. actually started surfing, oh. like two years ago. Are most of you guys surfing on KSF? Is that the... the uh, yes, we can actually talk about surf communities. Uh, I can actually talk about my personal favorites within all of the games. Right now, we are surfing in uh, CSGO. In my opinion, uh, the CGN servers are the best, like most competitive, the most dedicated admins I've seen. Uh, I haven't surfed on that many servers in CSGO, 
but it seems like these servers are the only ones that aren't laggy for whatever reason. <laughs> and the timers and the players and the admins are wonderful. Uh, uh, I know Flodgen and uh, Renegade are, are from that community. Um, and in, in Source, where I think uh, the most, most of the people here are from uh, the KSF community, which is uh, the best, pretty much the only surf community in Source, and it's actually the most competitive uh, surfing community in the world. Uh, world records are beating, being beaten every single day. Whoa. And in TF2, uh, we don't have any, any real TF2 representatives, unfortunately. I mean, Muffins and Red Sea used to surf in TF2, but they migrated to Source, sure. as most people do. Um, but a uh, huge shout out to uh, the Resurf community. If you don't own Source, or you just really like TF2, uh, you should definitely check out the Resurf servers. They put a lot of time and effort into their servers. A lot of people actually prefer surfing in TF2. There are slight differences, which I do personally do not enjoy. But uh, you, you yeah, enjoy I surf, them. I surf like, every hats. day I surf in TF2. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you have your hats, of course. Yes. Yeah. But uh, I think the, the reason I like surfing in TF2 is because I play so much TF2. Yeah. So people always ask the question, you know, like, why, why do you want to be surfing? You know, what are the benefits of surfing? We actually, like, learn a lot about mouse control and conserving your momentum. Yeah, and how, how definitely. you turn is really important and it actually transfers a lot to not only TF2 but other games as well. I agree. And uh, if you do it in TF2, you actually wind up with better mechanics. I mean. Yeah, you have your same exact sensitivity, same settings, same view models, etc. Yeah, and, uh, and, and I, I think surfing is also a really good way to just like relax. It might look frustrating, uh, failing over and over, but if you find an easier map that you can beat after you have like a rough matchmaking game or a rough uh, TF2 scrim or pug, you can you can you can get there to cool down. I, I feel like most surfers are masochists. You know, they just don't, they just want to they just don't like I'm themselves. I'm just in the I'm just in <laughs> the people just it, it it is yeah you, you do the same maps over and over again and you're making mistakes right, but it's also extremely rewarding like anything else to just like push past some like barrier yeah. that you have that's like frustrating you like you can't beat this level but you try for it for like you know 10 15 minutes or it could take you like it took me once like 2 hours to beat a surf level on a uh, one one map oh, and it air, was oh uh, yeah yeah was it, it was like no, air, air, air flow or something airflow. the yeah. last stage on airflow Tier, yeah stage 5 on airflow and uh, but when you beat it it's just like the best moment it ever it really really is yeah for sure uh, a, a lot of these maps do take a lot of grinding, much like TF2 jumping. If you watched, uh, if you watched that yesterday, it does take thousands of hours to get this good, uh, unless you're Muffins, who got really good, really, yeah, really I fast. I, I don't know what happened yeah. happened there, but uh, he's the only exception that I know. I've never seen the stage, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is the last stage on the map. It is an yeah. incredibly difficult stage, in my opinion. Oh, and this, this is not is the, the hardest map that we're doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh, easy. Oh god. Easy for Red Ghost. Oh, that turned around applause. That is sick. That is well sick. Well done, Red We're going to uh, an equally. Wait, no, wait. we're not. We're going to a pretty middle of the road map that is actually quite nice looking. Uh, a TF2 surf uh, member. Made this name Temp. He's actually a good ah, good pal of mine. Cool. I think does he probably stops by both of our streams. I know he stopped by mine. Uh, but yeah, Flodgen's gonna gonna give it a go. <laughs> he is a legend. This, this map, a living legend. This map I can't get past like the fifth rail. Really? Yeah, I'll show, I'll tell you where I get when it gets there. I, I think get this stuck. map is awesome. It, I think it looks it's great. beautiful. Yeah, no, it's uh it's a great map. It's a shorter map, but it, the ending is kind of tough. There's a lot of glass. Yeah. The thing about surfing is, we could tell you how hard it is like all day long, but until you try it yourself, it's you should just hop in a server and just give it a shot because it's really fun and you might like it, you might not like it, but you might like it, and uh, you'll see it's just really hard to keep your momentum going. And yeah. this is the hard part right here, where you have to jump, get on this ramp, and then get over this wall. He got it makes over it. So easy. He makes it look so and easy. And that's not the hardest part, in my opinion. <laughs> really? There's some like anti grab. I've never gotten up, over that wall. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I keep seeing in chat, like, how do they know where they're going? Hundreds Whoa. of hours in repetition. Right. For the most part, yeah. You just trial and error again and again and again, and you'll eventually know where you go. Yeah. yeah. There are uh, actually, on most servers, there are bots that you can just join Spectate and watch a bot beat the map, oh, yeah. which is usually the world record. Mm. Easy. Well done, Flawed. Nice. There it is. I think the, the thing about surfing is that you need to know what height to go at off of the last ramp 
It's to very easy to go on too high round. or too low. Exactly. Well, in jumping, it's very common for you to have staged levels. So there's like one level at a time that you're beating. Yes. But in surfing, it's uh, two different kinds of maps. Yes. There's staged maps and there's linear maps. That we was just a saw linear, linear map. Right. So a linear map is just an entire collection of stages. You could look at it that way or just a continuation of ramps where you're continuing momentum across the whole map. Yes. Uh, whereas stage maps, what we saw which on Stonework, yes. was one at a time. And they're both difficult in their own right. But mm -hmm. Uh, yes, uh, the linear maps tend to be a little bit more difficult, in my opinion, but uh, yeah, this is a stage map. It's uh, tier 4. This is actually probably one of the most played maps. For whatever reason, Very popular. on public servers, people love this map. I mean, I think it's a great map, don't get me wrong. But it's a very popular map, and I believe we're ready. Muffins. Uh, Muffins is gonna give All it right. a go. Yeah, I think I very still pretty have the map world too. record on this map as well. Do you nice. really? Yeah. Very proud. I think yeah. it was my very first world record. Really? I thought it was so Utopia. I this map. Was it? I don't think so. It's been so long. Oh, I already messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Get it done the, first the first stage. The first stage is actually not difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's psyched himself out. Like, even Mr. Slunk can do this thing. Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, Can man. we get some uh, Toph Roasted in chat? Can we get that going? <laughs> Dude, it, Dude I actually is just throwing it down. Like, I actually ever do. since he started getting better at TF2, oh my the god. The ego. This guy, first he beats Banny and MGE once. It's over. <laughs> there is a shortcut okay, there that Muffins was trying to do, but he saved it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's been a while, guys. Kind of rusty. He's uh he's just busy getting invite in TF2, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on the breaking world on the records on the side. Yeah. I think this map oh, is really popular. About, you guys are talking about how surfing kind of may transfer over to like mouse control and stuff. Like <laughs> a lot of medics play surfing and they try that to is get a used really to, like, good surfing point. rockets and things like that. Yeah, everyone used to make fun of my medic movement. Yeah, in uh, before I started surfing. <laughs> Yeah, and, in uh, TF2, it, it definitely helps for Medic, or it just any class. If you're going to get hit by a rocket, you want to surf that. You don't right. want to just, like, eat it and just sit there. You want to jump and fly away, and being able to have good mouse control and movement off of mm -hmm. a, a rocket is perfect. Like, this is exactly what it feels like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The thing about, uh, like, practicing as a Medic is that there's not very many opportunities outside of the, the actual game to play. So... Surfing is something you can do in your own time. Just hop in a server and just keep mm -hmm. beating levels, and uh, yeah. it's, it's always there for you. You can do it for five minutes or hours. And even as like somebody who plays scout, like it really helped my movement. Like I understand so much about like the Source engine and just how to like move around. So if you ever want to know how to move, yeah. and mm -hmm. surfing and jumping definitely like the best things to learn. And as I'm, far like, as really movement goes, for sure. Nice. Make his way through. Two more stages to go. So we have how many maps we have lined up here today? We have a fair amount, an hour's worth. And then if we uh, reach a, a donate, do we mention the donation incentive? I don't believe we have, Curtis. You want me to talk about yes. that? Yes. So if we raise five thousand dollars, is it by the end of the segment, or when are we cutting that off? Uh, probably like ten minutes before the segment ends. Okay. So if we get five thousand dollars raised towards this this incentive before. Ten minutes before this segment ends, I'm struggling, Curtis. <laughs> uh, Kurt and I will do co-op surfing. We're going to get real close. Real One close. of us is going to use the mouse, and the other is going to be using the keyboard. And we're going to be playing an easier map so we can actually beat it uh, in a reasonable <laughs> amount of time. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty difficult only being able to control half of the controls when it comes to surfing. Also, I haven't surfed in nine, ten months. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. So uh, I haven't surfed in like three days, and I'm like having, uh, I'm having a. Uh, you might need to. Uh, you, might need, you might need to carry I, me, Kurt. Yeah, <clears throat> I trust you. It'll be fine. The experience. The did you have to do a practice run at all, or have you, did you actually? Oh, we practiced uh, a little over a year ago at my house. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're <laughs> pretty ago. fresh. We're okay. fresh. Yeah. All right, we're pretty it. fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something you guys do all the time. I think we still hold the co-op world record, so we're fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we hold the co-op world record on Surf Derpus and TF2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very specific, but no one else has ever done it before. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is the last stage, and it's pretty tough. I actually thought uh, this was like one of the, like, uh, you get past certain points when you surf, and uh, you feel like you get better after you do a certain yes. thing. Yes, yes. After beating this map for the first time, I felt like 
I got better. This is a very difficult stage for like an intermediate surfer uh, as Muffins just Look spins around spinnies. and casually uh, surfs. The ending is quite difficult. Right. You need to have a lot of speed for the last ramp. And Muffins is probably going to do it casually and just make me look like an idiot. But Muffins is not an intermediate surfer. He is a huge noob. <laughs> I mean, it says new right there. Yeah, it says so new right there. Clearly. Look at his adorable off-centered Muffin. I know exactly what you're saying, though, when it comes to skill and improving yourself. Yes. Because a lot of people imagine skill and improving as like a, <laughs> as like a graph, you know, that goes from bottom left to bottom right. You're just improving yes. over time. But really, it's more, it's more like you as like go plateaus. like this. And then you hit another and then plateau. You, yeah, you're like boom to boom, and you just hit like the next skill yes. level, and you just unlock like I'm, you can struggle on a map for days, and then the next day you can beat like five maps. In and a row. once you hit those plateaus, you basically unlock more maps to play. It's, because yeah, when right. you first start surfing, you're not going to be able to even like get past the third ramp on a map like this. Surf uh, Chronic. This one is ridiculous. It is a very yeah, difficult map. I believe Nim had the record on it, or still has the record on it. If you want to give it a go. Since has it now. Yeah. Really? I believe, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Sinsa. I thought, yeah, oh Sinsa god, is a legendary legend. surfer that Sinsa just is, came yeah. back like a week ago. This map is crazy too because it's all like this vertical column and you just keep ro rotating back and forth throughout it. Yes, it is a linear Nim map with a lot of spins. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of spins. It's very short too, but uh, yeah. But it takes forever to learn how to beat. <laughs> I think I beat this for the first time like after about a year of surfing, so. It takes a while. Oh, oh, oh. Right at the end. Yeah, it might it might take a few tries. This is this is a tough map. I mean the spins in this map are yeah. Yeah. So. But that's a, the that's the yeah. thing that I think about these maps is that these maps are so like beautiful and interesting and they're just so difficult that a lot of people don't get to see them. Yes. So that's what makes this segment so cool yeah. is you get to see these maps yeah. that you would never Not many people otherwise. have seen the end of this map unless you if unless you looked it up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I think I cut someone off, so... Yeah, uh, were you going to mention uh, Nims Ping? He is actually Australian. Yeah. He is Rain's twin brother. Really? Yes. Wait. Like, literally? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually was, believed you. I was like, the that, that was a twin. sick J, Kurt. That was a... I like that one a Thanks, lot. Thanks, dude. <laughs> that was good. You actually got me. I thought they were related. But yeah, uh, Ping doesn't matter too much in surfing unless there are B-hops, teleports... Boosters, and that's it. And there's not many, there's a lot of B hops on this map, nice. and it's it's actually a lot harder with a higher ping on this map. So that's a very good job by uh, Nim, because there are a fair yeah. amount of B hops. Thank you. Pretty disgusting. He was doing like all the hard things as well, so that's really yeah. On this map. <laughs> this Maybe is a sweet them, looking map, and I'm pretty sure this is a muffins map. Yes, it is. It's called. It's me. Wait, is it you? Crushed. Oh you my no, it's truffle, co it's truffle Copter. All our games are okay. crashing. Yeah. All yeah. your games are crashing. Yes. Mongo and just crash. Okay. Dang. Well, we're just going to sit here. Well, it's until called we Surf it back. LT Unicorn, and it's made by the same guy that made Surf Omnific, Omnific. which is probably the most iconic surf map. Mm -hmm. Everybody and their mother. If you know what any have any idea what surfing is, right. you know what Omnific is. And yeah. this is his second uh, big project, I believe. And it is, it's it's well, it's bright and pretty and yeah. colorful. I mean, and as vibrant. a surfer, what I like about it is it looks good, but it also plays really well too because it's a staged map that you can just transition through yes. perfectly. Like I don't know how he does it, but you can landmark teleports. Landmark. Can we get someone to explain land? Look, we can explain landmark teleports okay. as they happen. Interesting. Okay. They're essentially teleports that are invisible to the to the eye. Right. Interesting. So I, the way it plays, you could you could beat it like a linear map, or if you fail and you're practicing the map, you could just go through it as a stage map too. Yes. Another name for landmark teleports are like seamless teleports. Seamless teleports. Oh. That's a better that's a better term for it, I believe. Yeah. What would a landmark be? The end of a stage. Yeah. <laughs> landmark. That's the, that's the landmark. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Interesting. I love surfing. I think we're getting back into the server. What are you guys? Are you guys getting back into the server? We 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 can't see. Yeah, we're in. Yeah, are you guys are in? Cool. Do we have any donations that we could read maybe while we're? Uh, at uh, this I, you guys have been doing just such a good job. Like, and I you feel think like this so? this segment is so packed. Like, I, I think just just keep the surfing going. Okay. Well, we're not in the server right now. I, I thought they said they were. Did I miss Is our camera yeah, in, the in the server? Here. Yeah, I, I see the camera. I got in. Okay, so we okay. need to get our camera back in there, but what I will do is I will talk a little bit more about these raffles. So we just did the CSGO uncreating raffle, right? Yes. That happened. Battle Scarred, Dolphin, AK-47. Okay. 
That's not, those sounds like weapons in a game called Counter Strike Go. That's good that those yeah. were in there. If it was yeah. something else, that'd be weird. <laughs> what we got coming up later this evening <laughs> is the Team Fortress 2 uncrating. It's going to be real good. It's even more crates than we had in CSGO. I believe that's a two-hour block, and we're opening 405. 405 crates. Why five? Uh, surfers, I'm hearing from production doo -doo -doo, that we need you to uh, give our camera person the server info so he can get the back password, in. password, yes. So uh, please go ahead and do that, uh, and we'll continue Just talking about these raffles. Just type it in the, in the mumble yeah. chat so do, it's not on Do not say it out already loud. Started. <laughs> What's that? He already started. <laughs> I think uh, Koffel's just practicing. <laughs> it's a shame because he's destroying the map right now. Oh, oh man. Sure he's just teasing it's us. It's really entertaining. He's just beating the it's world really record. It's really entertaining. This is the sickest run I've ever seen. <laughs> but this TF2 uncrating raffled, though. So it's $3 <laughs> minimum bid to get in. If you donate more towards that raffle, you have a higher chance of winning it. And one person is going to win the contents of all 405. 405. One person. Of these crates. One person yes. is going to win all that. And all it costs at $3? $3. $3 yes. For what? minimum bid to enter. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So good on that. That's going to be closing. Do we know when that's closing? It's uh, closing at the end of the event, I believe, before we draw it. You can enter after we unbox, I believe. Actually, I have no idea. Yeah, we should probably figure we that out. We should probably do it before we unbox, because we don't know. Yeah. But if you, uh, if you donate... Uh, five dollars or more during the surf segment, uh, you have a chance to win one of six CS:GO knives. So get in, get in on that if you if you want a CS:GO knife. Yeah, and yeah. all the money goes directly to support One Step Camp. Yes, of which course. Is a great all cause. of yes. Um, yeah, One Step Camp is the cause we're supporting here. They uh, put on camps for uh, kids going through cancer treatment, which is a real, real good cause. Those kids need it more than most. And I do believe oh, we are now back map. in the. All in right, the server. reset. <laughs> <laughs> this map. Is beautiful. Can you guys hear the music on it too? Yes. Oh my goodness. The music's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's just a. It's just a trolley so, map. So <laughs> so why this map, Travelcopter? You can start whenever you're ready. If you can talk while surfing. I have no idea. It you looks have no cool. idea. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly difficult, but it looks cool. Does it encaps encapsulate your boyish charm? Yep. Yep. Okay. Truffle is maybe not difficult for a truffle, but it's difficult. I, for I me. think he's very charismatic. Yeah. You should check out his stream. Twitch.tv oh my god. Yes. Twitch.tv forward slash Trufflecopter. Are these harps that we're hearing? Like, swing. Yeah, swing. that's. Oh my god. And look look at, at these that shortcuts. Shortcut. He's incredible. <sighs> this map is beautiful, but it's also very difficult to speedrun. Yeah. And you can see those uh, landmark teleports, those seamless teleports that we were talking about as he switches through. Oh the, my uh, god. Oh, if you made that would have been a pretty good salvage. Yeah. I'll restart. <laughs> See if I can get a good run. <laughs> the shortcuts are so cool. You gotta All see. All right. Can we also talk about um, like turbines? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You can know, we were, we were watching that earlier on the on the previous map about how you know, people were just spinning crazy fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Muffins, you said you wanted to talk about turbines. Mm -hmm. Go yeah, for I it. I have a lot of experience with turbines. Um, so basically, it's plus left and plus right in the console. And what you can do is uh, that'll like make your character automatically like spin around, like as if you're moving the mouse. So you'll just click those buttons and you'll be spinning around and. Um, it's really good for those like really quick buy or really quick turns like Nim was doing on that really crazy map. Yeah. I think you were doing them too also at the end of uh, Overgrowth. You were just spinning yeah, around uh... randomly. But uh, another thing that is kind of unfortunate you can't do in CSGO is change the CL yaw speed of uh, your turn script which is basically making it go quicker uh, and it really helps for like those really quick spins on Tronic and all those crazy yeah. maps. Some some Ender. maps are some parts yeah. of some maps are designed to have a turbine unless you have mm -hmm. an incredibly high sensitivity or a blanket like Truffle has, which is <laughs> yeah. a, a blanket. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, do you want to explain the blanket, Truffle? What uh, what the blanket is, or well, anybody? Basically, a pad that covers your whole entire desk. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's actually segues nicely into like <laughs> what kind of sensitivities do you guys have? Is it like oh, high man. or low or in between? Like what? What do you guys prefer? Pretty low. low. Lower? I think all of us are low. Like, why why yeah. do you guys think lower is What's, better? What would be low, surfer? by the way? Just like just for reference, like how many inches or centimeters per 360? I think like, truffle is like two or three three feet. 
for a 360? My goodness. Yeah, like two or three feet. About yeah, the same for me. I think like 20 inches is like normal for a uh, high level surfer. <laughs> You'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you tune on the stream. He has a webcam that shows yeah. him. It's like a little little trophicopter and a big desk <laughs> slash mouse pad. <laughs> nice, by the way. Nice run. Yeah, that Slow was sick. Smooth, smooth if we had time, fast. if okay, if you get good enough at that map, you get a special ending. We will show the special ending of the uh, Omnific. Uh, but we don't have time for the special ending, and it has a seizure warning oh, okay. that we sh probably shouldn't show on stream. All right. But if you want to YouTube it, you should check it out. That, that map has a pretty cool ending, uh, like a, a video, uh -huh. essentially. So these guys basically have really low tur like sensitivities, but they use the turnbinds to turn faster. I. Or are you saying this? Are you saying that you can't control the yaw speed in CS:GO? I, I missed that. I. Part. Uh, they can cannot. just control everything with a low sensitivity and like really harsh yeah. spins. I think Truffle does. I think he only has plus left. I think he spins all the way with like when he's turning right. Just with if I remember correctly. Whoa. Yep, I only use plus left. Wow. Uh, can we just start by the way? Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Remco and Floggin racing on Surf Time Warp. This is a tier five map, which means it's one of the harder maps uh, that you can play. It's just under the highest tier, which is uh, six. So this is a pretty tough map. I've never seen this map before. You've but never I seen this map? I, like I believe it, it is in TF2. It's oh. a very difficult map if you are not, I would say, like uh, above intermediate surfer. And you, you definitely have to practice this map a lot. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty crazy. And just the start of it looks insane. <laughs> it's, a, it's, yeah. Each, I, th I think each stage was made by a different mapper, unless the mapper decided to like texture every stage completely differently. I, I'm not really sure. It's an older map. It's, it's a nice map, though. Huh. Whoa. Just switch over to a different POV. It looks yeah, like we're in a completely the, different area. This is the second stage. It's, it's, uh, you can skip the entire right stage uh, if you hit that B-Hop absolutely perfectly. But we do not have Crash Port playing right now, so uh, we wouldn't... I don't, I don't know if anybody else can do that. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know if it's possible um, in CS:GO. It is possible. Like Crash Ford people. is done it. <laughs> Crash Ford. Uh, oh it. yeah, <laughs> I've done it. It's easier in CS:GO. It feels. Uh, but I don't basically, know what, what the I'm talking is, about. But it is. It does feel easier. Yeah, basically, what I'm talking about. You go through this like this hole at the beginning, and then you go down. But the ending is straight across. If you uh, if you were looking straight there. From the hole. If you bounce off of that hole perfectly, you can go directly to the end instead of do that entire stage. Oh. But I guess uh, we are on the next stage. Uh, Floggin is winning. He is uh, on the fourth stage now. This stage is essentially an entire linear, linear map. Uh, I think Trophilcopter was trying to grind this map out the other day, and this was like the stage where the most shortcuts were, but they seem pretty insane. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like in a minute long stage, I think. I'm Which just stage? in awe right now, trying to <laughs> get, wrap my head around it. I can only imagine what everyone else on the stream is who's, who's like, thinking about this when they don't on? watch surfing all the time. Yeah, yeah. like if, you, if you've never tried surfing and you play CSGO, you play TF2, you play Counter-Strike Source, you might pl play Gmod, just go into the server browser and type surfing and you will find a surf yeah. server and give it a go. You just might like it. It's really, really fun at every level. Mm -hmm. I'm a really big fan of, of like racing games and this is right up there yes. because you're just going so fast. It's like a it's time really attack fun. game. Oh, totally. Like a community time attack game essentially. But yeah, this is the last stage of Surf Time Warp. I am not a huge fan of the stage. It's basically half bee hopping, which is uh, short for bunny hopping. It's when they're bouncing off the ground, like right here and right here and right here. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's called bunny hopping. You essentially maintain most of your momentum by bouncing off like a flat or slightly angled surface that you cannot surf on. Uh, it's just another obstacle that uh, mappers put in their maps uh, for surfing. Just makes it look so easy. Shout out to Foon. <laughs> As if I know who he is. I've just seen his video. So Vlad <laughs> just destroyed that map. I think that's probably 20 minutes faster than I have ever d beaten that map. <laughs> Fantastic run. Uh, well done. A smattering of applause just, just, for Flodgan. Just a little bit, just a little bit of claps. 
Uh, the next map is a fairly new map called Surf Nostromo, made by Horse Feathers, I believe. It's, I think, it's essentially a map in a space station. Like you can make make maps like this. This map was made in Counter Strike Source and ported to CS:GO. This is a beautiful map. Whoa! And you guys are, you can start whenever you're ready. Ready, Remco? I am. All right, let's go. This is a uh, tier five linear, I believe. It's a very long map with a huge shortcut, but I don't think either of them are going to attempt it because it's quite difficult. It is super hard to see us go, yeah. We can have the debatable on whether or not it's tier five or four, but yeah. there's a lot of maps like that. Like, for whatever reason, in uh, Source, uh, the first map we played, for whatever reason, it's ranked uh, tier four. But nowadays, it's probably like an easier tier 3 map, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but this map, yeah, is definitely borderline tier 4, tier 5. De it, de it probably depends on who owns the server and how they tier their, tier their maps. But I, I really like this map. It is fantastic. This map doesn't look like any space station I've ever been in. Really? Yeah. But then again, I've never been what in a space station. Maybe it's like, okay. a, like a Death Star <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we can talk about the differences in the surfing between the other games. I know between TF2 and uh, Counter-Strike, the Counter-Strike player models have smaller heads, so it makes it slightly easier. Like in TF2, if you play Pyro, for example, it's got a really big head. <laughs> yeah, if uh, you talk to someone that surfs in Counter-Strike and has tried TF2, they're going to say that uh, TF2 has like balloon heads. And uh, if you talk to someone that plays TF2 and has tried Counter-Strike, they're going to say they're on stilts because their legs are so long. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in TF2, you have uh, slightly taller hitbox and a slightly high or slightly taller hitbox yeah and a slightly higher head oh. and in uh, in source and CSGO you have uh, you have lower legs and a uh, and a smaller uh, hitbox so would you say there's any like major difference when you pick a game for surfing or uh, I would does say it really not matter pick a game that you if you like to play TF2 play in TF2 if you like source mm -hmm. play in source if you like CSGO, play in CSGO. It really, you will not notice the difference until you start getting better, and then you can make that decision at that point in time. Sure. Just surf what, in whatever game you enjoy. That, well, that would be my recommendation. Well, I have a lot of friends who uh, were surfing in TF2, and then they moved to other games, or yes. like, they moved from other games to TF2, and they're like, yeah, I just enjoy surfing. It yeah. pretty much feels the same to me. And yeah. You don't have to boot up another client when you want to play. Yeah, I yeah, like if you play a lot of CS:GO, you don't want to switch to TF2 and surf and then uh, go wait in matchmaking right. and then flop back and forth and vice versa for TF2 when matchmaking comes out. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. Uh, real quick, we do have a special donation comment here that I would like to read out. Oh, yeah? We have $100 from Rob Middleton. Uh, he's the one who designed and programmed the Tip of the Hats website, tipofthehats.org. Oh, thank you. Uh, and Rob says, shout out to the Tip of the Hats team for putting on such a great show. Let's hit 200K. So, Rob, thank you so much for that donation. We really appreciate it. And thank you so much uh, for all your work on our website. Yeah, it is absolutely fantastic website, in my opinion. Yeah. Thanks, it's, real, Rob. it's real good. Thank you, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Well, well it looks like... Quarter? Yeah, these oh, there's a lot of landmark teleporters. If, if you see, if it looks like the stream is lagging for like a half second, that means the player is hitting a landmark teleporter. Uh, in in CS:GO, it does jut a little bit, which is a, a, a slight downside of the game. Probably the only major downside uh, to surfing. There are a lot of yeah, he just fell off the end, unfortunately. Barely missed it. Uh, but uh, there are slight differences and quirks between the games that you will experience if you if you surf all the games. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there are a, a lot of uh, landmark teleports on this map. And it, hopefully Trufflecopter doesn't choke here. Please don't choke Trufflecopter. <laughs> For the kids. For the kids. Oh, oh. no. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> I beefed. <laughs> oh, my God. You this map him? is pretty. It, like, like we were saying, this map is like between Tier 4 and 5, and you guys are probably wondering why they're failing. It's, it's just because it's a very long map, and... There's a lot of pressure. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of pressure, and it's a very long map. <laughs> it's a fun one, though. I really like watching the linear maps because the momentum on each ramp matters a lot for the ramp that exactly. comes afterwards. Like, if you, if you miss ramp one, it'll make ramp two impossible. Yeah, that's very important in linear maps to, like, absolutely get all the speed you can out of all the ramps to... Uh... That's the only shot you'll have to beat the entire map. Mm -hmm. 
it's all dependent on yeah. uh, the maps, the ramps firing. And on like uh, intermediate maps where there are huge shortcuts if you surf perfectly in parts yeah. before that. Nice, Remco. Nice. Well done. This map is awesome. <laughs> uh, I believe the next map the is Surf there. Who Knows 2 <laughs> uh, by Red Sea. Or not by Red Sea. Red Sea does not make this map. Uh, who made this map? Malt. Malt. I believe Malt, Malt made like the surf timer for TF2 as well. Yeah, uh, he did. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he made, made a global research. surf timer for TF2, and he is also a mapper. Uh, and this map is awesome, in my opinion. Malt actually made this timer as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Malt is the man. Are, are any of you guys here mappers for surfing, or have you tried making maps yourselves? I've made one map. Uh, <laughs> it is not very fun because Hammer does not cooperate well. Oh. So it's not easy? No, not at all. Yeah, well, I, I also tried it, but it was very difficult. I never have opened the hammer. <laughs> is is when Source Two comes out? Uh, when CS:GO gets ported to Source Two, Hammer also gets ported, right? Like an easy, uh, like a better version of Hammer. Or am I right? Yeah, I've looked at Dota's Dota 2's Source Two Hammer, and it looks a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, I would expect a lot of new mappers to come out uh, of CS:GO. Um, sure. When uh, CS:GO gets ported to Source Two. Uh, because actually a lot of maps are made in uh, Source. Most of the maps we were, have watched have been made in Source and ported to CSGO. I believe this is a CSGO uh, map. Uh, but I, th I think it might yeah. be the only one. Uh, uh, except for Milky knows, Way. Very few. It might be the only one that we're playing on the stream. Yeah. I know that the uh, that making maps is difficult because like when you watch them, when you look at a map, the textures don't look super perfect. You know, it's not like the most be like this map isn't the most beautiful map I've ever yeah. seen. But that just makes you appreciate maps like Omnific yes. and Unicorn, and they just they're like so well done and themed. Uh, even yeah. like Surfast, we were looking at earlier, which is Sonic <laughs> themed. Like that, there's a lot yeah. of effort that goes into making those maps and also making the surfing experience smooth at mm -hmm. the same time. Yeah, I. I can't imagine how long it takes to texture maps. I think the jumpers were saying they could map, make a map in like two weeks, but then spend months making oh, it look really? nice. So I can't imagine how long uh, Nairo, I believe, uh, spent making Omnific and Unicorn look pretty. Because those maps are pretty. Mm -hmm. Those maps are real Nairo's good looking. Nairo's making another map. Really? Awesome. Yeah, it's called like Surf Fish or something along those lines. I can't wait. Come on, Red Sea, you can do this. This map has the yeah, same the, problems the as kid uh, has some spark. The kid has <laughs> some <laughs> spark. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the ceiling on this map is pretty low, so you got to be going yeah. really fast to make this sure you This map is de most definitely about uh, keeping your speed throughout. Yeah. Oh, one of the tricks that they're doing on these ramps I'm kind of noticing is that the when you go up, you kind of have about some hang time, yeah. And it's all about like going up as long as you can, so that way you postpone when you start going like down. Like going at a going up at a certain angle, right? Yeah, it's all about the MySpace angles. The what? The MySpace angles. The the MySpace angles? Yeah. Do you not have a My, MySpace account? <laughs> I did not have a MySpace well, account. Well, no wonder you haven't been to tier <laughs> yeah, five I map. just don't understand that reference. Right. See, Bear over there is laughing. He he might get the reference. Yeah, I'm a '90s kid. All right. <laughs> Check out Lang. I tickled his funny bone. Yeah, I'm good. Real ticklish over here. I'm proud of myself. Sick J coming from Geist. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Sick J. <laughs> yeah, I was that guy who was like really late to getting Facebook. Even now, I don't even use it. Yeah, I don't have a Facebook. Yeah. Me neither. I have a MySpace. We all got a mind to enter in like raffles at PAX, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. All the hipsters are going back to MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they revamped the site. It's sick. I think surfing is like a great activity. I mean, I watch on your stream, Truck Truck, uh, where you can just chill while you're while you're surfing, and just talk with your friends. Yeah. And uh, it's really great for that because there's no combat. There's no like. 
you know, when you're when you're jumping, there's all these sound effects of like shooting rockets and all this stuff, and it's just kind of loud. But surfing is just so it gives that really chill vibe that I really like. Yeah, you can approach it so many different ways. If you just want to relax, you can find an easier map or a map that you find easy depending on your skill level, mm -hmm. and just play it through. Or you can find a harder map that's like just a little bit too hard for you, and just play it a bunch until you beat it. Which might sound a little grindy, which it is. But uh, different strokes for different folks. I really, really enjoy grinding out difficult maps. Yeah. And f it, you feel really, really good when you beat something that you've never beaten before. Right. Come on, Red C, you can do it. Red C, Red C. The, there's one part that I, he keeps uh, screwing up on, which is by far the hardest part of the map. You have to, it's coming up right here after this ramp. Just need to be going uh, high enough and far enough. Like you said, you need to, you need to make it to the ramp. There, there we go. go. There we go. All right, I'm excited for. This All right. Just paint oh, the ramp. Oh, oh. Not anymore. I'm just you gotta cut those really tight. Keeping my speed. Mm -hmm. We can give it a few more tries, and then uh, we could probably switch to the next map, uh, if you want, so we can get more maps in. Yeah. This is yeah, this is my excuse is I didn't practice. It's okay. Before this at all. It's okay, Red Sea. The way I relate this is to uh, World of Warcraft. I was watching uh, Tally the other day. <laughs> I know, you're going to be like, what? All right. You're like, what? Yeah, no, because when you watch someone who's got the raid on, like, farm, you know, where they're basically just, like, they know how to beat all the bosses. They know exactly what's going to happen. They just beat them all really easy. Yeah. But, like, watching progression, which is where you actually are trying to beat the boss for the first time, super difficult. That's you exactly, know? that's a you very have to, good You have to just, like, go at it. And, correlation. Like, in World of Warcraft, they could, you know, fail 500 times on a boss. Yeah, like, like so... You have like a raid group, and then you have to figure out how to beat the boss. Mm -hmm. But in surfing, your raid group is just you and you it's and just you and the, you and the map. You and the map. Yeah. The raid boss is the map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotta slay that raid boss. You gotta slay this map. Gotta gotta cast that power bolt <laughs> to the chest. Exactly. And he is cruising. I think he's gonna beat it here. This is looking he, he good. He won't go down without a fight. He's got it. Come on, Red Sea. For yeah. the kids. I've never been more confident. In I've never been like, more confident. This in is you. the last ramp. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. This server was actually modded to make that platform three uh, thousand units higher, so he was actually going really high there. Oh really? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Rutsy. <laughs> I'm sure Enrio is enjoying this right now. <laughs> We're gonna. Uh, how many? How many more tries are we gonna? I mean, that was, I think they seen most of the map. I, I really want to see him beat yeah. this, though. We'll give you one more try, Red Sea, my, for the kids. My butt and was clenching. The, the okay. <laughs> was, All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to head over to uh, Surf the Distance. I think if you've watched the, uh, past, the past Tip of the Hats, we have surfed this map. I think we raced it the first year, and then Muffins beefed it. Last Did he really? Year. Yeah. So oh, just, yeah. This just, is, just throw him under the bus. Yeah. Throw him right under it. Okay. Okay. Uh, train is back. Train is back, everyone. <laughs> Surf train, nice. uh, our favorite map. So we're getting that ready. Okay. It's good to go. Well, let's talk about the distance a little I'm bit because it's a very long map, right? I think the distance yeah, is I'm the long map. Oh. Yeah, our camera crashed. Oh. Our camera crashed. <laughs> yeah. Right into a wall. All right, looks like he needs to download the map real quick. Unfortunately, it's probably one of the biggest maps to download. Period. It is a huge map. It is a very long map. Uh, I believe roughly on average it takes three minutes. Uh, there are a lot of shortcuts, so you can cut that down to like 220-ish, I believe. Not really sure. Haven't played the map much. Hmm. It's a, it's a, it's the, a map with not that many shortcuts, actually. Really? I, a, I mean, you can skip ramps here and there, but it's not like... It's I don't think... You, pro you probably don't subscribe to the KSF Records YouTube channel, which <sighs> has all of the top records. Do you think there's like... Okay, I, I'm ready to have my mind blown then. Because there are a fair amount of shortcuts on the map, especially at the end where you can skip pretty much the entire ending section. Really? Yes, there are a lot of shortcuts on the map. I don't know how many uh, muffins will do. There are a couple oh. of really easy yeah, ones. Yeah, I'm still downloading the map. Okay. Okay. Yeah, same. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a big map. It is a big map. The Illuminati is on that map too. Yes. You get to surf that on the really Illuminati uh, triangle. Yeah. I saw that in a jump uh, video earlier. Yeah, in, in the, the jump video, yesterday. they were. A demo was pogoing across that section of the map. Yeah. Who even thinks to do that? To That's pogo crazy. in a surf map. They downloaded a surf map. <laughs> Just and so they could pogo through it. Played demo man Wait, on it. So they jump in our surf maps. So we don't jump in their jump maps? 
We don't surf in there. <laughs> we don't sur you can surf in yeah, jumping. That's can. jerfing. Yeah. Oh yeah, I played jerfing that before. Jerfing is really difficult, actually. Yeah. I love jerfing. Best of both. <laughs> yeah, it's so you weird. Jump surfing. Oh yeah. You guys should try that. If yeah. you've never you tried jerf it, sometime? it's like surfing and rocket jumping simultaneously. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's a little bit different though because the surf servers are. Yeah, they the have different. Accelerate is just default, so you have to propel yourself across the ramp with the rocket, right. so you don't just slide right off. T hey, turning, Lang. turning is easier in, on up? a surf map. What's going on? I don't, I don't know what you. I, I just know. saw you on the camera. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just keeping the seat warm. Yeah, no, let's keep keeping it warm. Oh, oh. Yeah. How was your nap, by the way? Uh, it didn't happen. Because I, I went home and I laid down. <laughs> People are posting little nap, nappy lang emotes. I, I went home and I laid down and I received a text that says, come back, you have to be on the surf segment. <laughs> yeah. So I'm very tired. You're here. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys have been kids. doing a good job. Because yep, as you might notice, I've not been saying much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kind of watching the surfing, <laughs> hanging out with Balloonicorn. Oh, yeah. he's rocking back and forth. He just made an just entrance. Hanging out with Balloonicorn, and I'm just like, yo, listen, Bay, we just, just chilling, just surf and chill, <laughs> you know? <laughs> just surf and just chill. Surf it looks like chill. we're having an error of the map, so I think we're going to have to play a different map, unfortunately. Uh, cause we, right. we are, yeah, we are under time constraints, uh, unfortunately. I think we actually should go to Omnific because we are running low on time, I believe, so we want to definitely get in that Omnific race. All right. Well, For sure. you just need to know that I beat the map. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, Muffins did yeah. beat the map. Congrats, yeah. Muffins. Impressive. Impressive. Hey. Thank you. Were there shortcuts, Muffins? Because uh, Kurt assured me that there were shortcuts. Oh, you just got to watch the KSF Records YouTube channel, which has all of the surfing world records that you possibly could need. Okay. Just surf and chill, man. I'm all about surf and chill. Netflix and chill. Yeah. That's a meme. Surf and chill. Also, that reminds me of surf and turf. Right. Is Can you explain to me what surf and turf is? I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking about it. In detail. You get you get some seafood and some steak. You get some surf and some turf, like oh. lobster and a steak. I'm not a big fan of seafood, but I like the turf. You like turf? Yeah. Mm. My turf. Yeah. That's what I say. I got turf all day long. Mm, turf. <laughs> okay. Down for some turf. Hello. And is that like jerfing? <laughs> yes. All right. Turf and jerk. And panel. Uh huh. <laughs> we can turf and jerk. First tag. <laughs> it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Oh, did I, did I tell you guys about my donation incentive that I had earlier? Oh, oh right. This so we were. This is a perfect time for. Well, uh, yes. During the night stream. Yeah. So we were holding down the fort and we were running out of things to do. Uh huh. So I was like, if we make it to 150,000, I will eat this banana on stream. And uh, we just cut away as soon as I <laughs> pulled it up, but it's cool. It's cool. Listen, I told him I'd eat this banana on stream. So, uh, so later this on. time, uh, we'll we'll get back to that after sure, the surf sure. event. Yeah. It's, we we need to have a proper uh, banana section after this. We can't we sure. can't have two things going on at once, you know. Sure. All right. So th this map is Surf Omnific. Uh, it's one of the harder maps. Period. I believe. Uh, it's 16 stages. A lot of people told me it's the hardest map. Period. It's 18 stages. Uh, Three stages per tier. So the first three stages are pretty easy, and then they get progressively harder every three stages, and the last three stages are incredibly difficult. And uh, Travelcopter has beaten this map in five minutes, which is insane. Uh, there's three surfers. Truffle, Nim, and Remco, I think? What? No. Muffins. Are you talking Muffins. About no Muffins is going to be here with us. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you guys can start whenever you're ready. This is a All long right. map. It might, it might take a while. Let's go. It's a fantastic map. It's it's I it's it's probably my favorite map. Isn't it made by three different map makers? Uh, it's made by uh, my mind just went blank. I don't know. I say like LT or something. Like the LT community, I believe it is uh, QR, Checkum, and Nairo are the three mappers. Uh, I I think uh, I think each one of them made a map per tier. Mm -hmm. So like every three stages is a different mapper per stage. And as you can see, they're bouncing between each stage, so you can speed run this map if you are good enough. Well, if you guys have been paying attention this entire segment, you will know that there's been, you know, it, it combines everything we've been talking about, right? So these seamless transitions between the stages, uh, like intense, like just keeping momentum throughout every stage so you can do the shortcuts on the next stage. 
And, Tech uh, really wants you to eat the banana. He's, right he's now. been making. I'm, I'm like, down. Just, I think yeah, it's, it it, it's vital. He's just making vulgar right hand I'll, motions behind the camera dude. with this banana for a good 45 seconds. I uh, I did not eat breakfast, so this is this is good for me. All right, All right. everyone, get your slim bees ready Cheers, in the chat and go. Oh, that's a nice bite. It's a good looking banana. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want a banana. There are no bruises on this banana. That's a really that's a good looking banana, Slim. What you got uh, there. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you like this banana? Yes. My banana? Yeah, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> Real good. Thanks, man. Real good. This is so good. Top notch. Just what I needed. Pop, top notch Nana. Yeah. I'm, I'm legitimately going to go eat one of these after this. That sounds... Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, 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 I got another one over here. That one doesn't look as good, Yeah, though. it doesn't look as good. That, I think that's also been sitting this here the whole overnight. Uh, oh, here. gosh. Yeah. All right. You know what? Yeah. Like, you want, here, have right. some of this banana. I'll have some of this banana. I'm not a, not a fan yeah. of bananas. You're not, you're not a fan of banana? Mm. Not a fan of the banana? That's exactly what I thought was going to be happening during the Curtis, look at me. You're not a fan of the banana? I got now I got a microphone. You know it's really funny. Some someone's gonna come back and be like, "Oh, I love Omnific and I love watching surfing every year. Let's go check out the surf segment for Omnific." <laughs> and just us being bananas. I mean, it's only like an eighth of the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are all the easy stages too, right? Yeah, it, it it progressively gets harder and harder. He's about halfway through. Mm -hmm. If you can read at the middle of the screen, it says what stage he's on. I believe this is nine, stage nine. If I can read. The first few stages are tier one. So every three stages is a new tier of, of surf difficulty. Yes. I believe this is the beginning of the tier four stages. The booster, I feel like, on this one works. Like in TFT, uh, in I feel like TF the booster doesn't work. <laughs> it, for whatever doesn't. reason, for whatever reason in, in every game except for Source, that stage is completely screwed up in a, in a different in way. In a different way. Everyone, yes. everyone in every different yes. game does that stage yes. differently. Like in TF2, that booster doesn't work at all. There's you like anti-grav in that area <laughs> in TF2. Yeah. That's so funny. This stage is incredibly difficult, for me at least. Oh. Ooh. 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 Can't have the no-fail. This is like the first stage where Omnivic starts getting hard for me. I, I agree. This is uh, definitely like the first plateau. I think Pretty much every intermediate surfer gets stuck on this stage. The ending is a pretty difficult. It's this my least favorite stage on the map. Yeah, there's a part that's coming up right after this, right after this ramp where you, you just have gotta to cross flick this high gap. enough. Yeah, you gotta this... flick high enough without hitting your head, and and then you have to go far enough to land on the next ramp. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Let's see Ooh. where everyone else is. Oh, truffles on it too. Uh huh. Everyone's about within one stage of each other right now. Truffle yeah, currently holds uh, stage that 10, gap, that gap like right there. It's really weird because yeah. it's way different. There's a little shortcut you can bump your head. Ooh. But yeah, Truffle holds the world record on this map, and in my opinion, is it's not going to get beaten anytime soon. How, how many? How long did it take you to no foul this map with all of the shortcuts, Truffle? So hard to do. I think about three days of time. Like three days, like straight playing, like yep. actual t gameplay. Yeah. This like, map right here is inc uh, this part right here is incredibly difficult because you have to go down on one ramp and then immediately get like so much speed off of that and then come up another ramp. Yep. So you're surfing up a ramp the entire time. Have you even seen the end of the map, Slyn? Uh, I have seen it a couple. I watched it. For the have you curve. even I watched, seen I've the end the of the house. map, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. The <laughs> like beating this map for the first time for me was. It was. You've beaten it. It was an experience. I've beaten it twice. Oh. Did you uh, transcend into another dimension, it, or did you? It, it definitely was probably the best feeling I've ever had surfing. Well, it it felt good. Wow. Felt good. But these guys have beaten it hundreds of times. So it's 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 just nothing unless they get the world record. They need those points. I feel like you're describing like how you reached enlightenment or something. Yeah, I felt like a new man. I, I, I was a surfer boy, and now I'm a surfer man. <laughs> Tag, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't... He's just, like, interrupting <laughs> with his presence. Oh, nice. All right, this is the part where Tag tries to make me laugh. Okay, gotcha. I see where this, this is going. Well, it doesn't sound like you're laughing. I'm that is a good point. I, I'm, he's trying. He's trying. I'm like mesmerized. This is just... It's, it's one thing to watch it on a, a YouTube video. It's another thing to watch it live. Like, he's just... He's, he knows how to do it so well that he can just do it. Yeah, that, that's another thing about these surfers is that, like, when we were planning this segment, we're like, okay, 
we only have an hour to to a lot for this and like you know we have all these servers involved and want to give you all a chance to, to you know show off your skill and show off all your favorite maps and they're just like, oh yeah, we'll just pack this thing full of maps and then just like ace them all. <laughs> like they're just, they have just complete confidence. And these are like the, these aren't the hardest maps, but they're damn close to it. Yeah. They're very advanced maps. This might be, I don't know if, how hard this map is considered, but it's probably top 10 maybe hardest maps. Mm. I don't know. How would you guys rank it? Like uh, in definitely terms of, it's definitely top five. Yeah, I would top three. However, it is kind of easier than this hop one, it's probably because it's just staged and you can like pick it apart. Yeah. Like, piece by uh, piece, stage by stage. Practice yeah, each and every one of them. Ridiculous. If you're talking no fail, then it's completely different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're talking no fail, then that I think part. it's probably the most difficult. Yeah. Oh this my is an goodness. insanely difficult stage. In my opinion, this is the hardest stage on the map, even though it is the second last stage. Our, is it the second last stage? Those curve ramps stage. are surprisingly stage 16. difficult because. You have to come off at the perfect angle. Yeah. But yeah, this is the run killer if you are uh, speedrunning this map and are like really good. So uh, yeah, Tropicopter knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing the it's last Nim, three actually. ramps. Nimmy's have the world record. Yeah, wasn't it Rain Nim then uh, Silver and then uh, and then Tropical. Sometimes you can ride the spine and get I was like gonna a say, that was super weird. boost. Yeah, you can ride the spine if you hit it perfectly. It's kind of just like random because you're not really aiming for it, right? Is it more like a show off move or is it more like an edge bug? You just kind of you get don't it really have a choice. Uh, it, <laughs> for, like <laughs> I'm serious. For this last rep, you don't really have a choice. You just take what's given to you. If you're going a little yeah, too high, he's right. You, you just you just ride the spine. Because if you strafe at all, you know, like strafing back and uh -huh. forth, you will, you won't have enough speed to make it high enough. So you basically actually, just go ahead. I think it's a lot easier to ride the spine if you're given that opportunity. Yeah. But yeah, you'll just like, wow, why am I going so high? I touch the spine. <laughs> yeah. I like how this problem is so. It's such a problem on this map that everyone just has a term for it. Yeah. Like ride the spine. Like, oh yeah, of course, ride the spine. Yeah. Th this is the stage that you'll spend a lot of time on if you ever want to beat this map. And the best surfers in the world are having trouble on it. I personally think this map is a lot harder in CSGO. I, I don't know I why. Uh, I couldn't beat it. <laughs> I, I beat this stage, but it took like 17. an hour. 17? Yeah, 17. The next scene. So are there any no-fail runs of this? Is, I'm assuming the world yes. record is a no-fail run. Tropicopter has beaten this map in 5 minutes and 23 seconds, I believe. Something something like that. Uh, so you got to hit every shortcut between the stages. And, and uh, yeah, there's a shortcut that skips entirety of stage 8. You just go backwards off the first ramp to the end of the end of the stage. Uh, there's pretty much shortcuts in every single stage. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on, guys. You can do this. Boys, I'm I'm struggling on stage 15. Come on, muffins. I'm uh, I'm not representing uh, the team muffins. muffins here. Yeah, team the muffins. muffin men. Come on, you guys, you guys can do it. It's tough though. Don't I mean, worry. I'm gonna struggle on stage 15, then I'm gonna one shot stage 16. You'll see. Well, like you said, it's a run killer. It's a very difficult stage. I think chat needs to give someone their energy. <laughs> choose wisely. Yeah, choose wisely. It's up to you. Uh, Who are you giving your energy Muffins to? is a safe bet. Muffins is a safe bet? <laughs> muffins, yeah. if you don't want to play favorites. I'm a stage behind. <laughs> oh, this okay, is now it. I'm on stage Nip, 16. Nim's got it. Should be it. How do we go? Easy. Nice. Well done, Nim. And so is this the last stage? This is the second last stage. This, okay. But the stage you just beat is the hardest stage on the map. Ooh. Okay, that part of the map is not supposed to go black. Or fade to black. I don't know if that happened on stream or on there the we go. monitor. This is so I'm ridiculous. Just, yeah, I just I can't. I've beaten I can't this talk. map before. <laughs> but it's still like it's just mesmerizing to watch. Yeah. Nice. We do apologize for the, the, the brief dropouts in the video signal there. We're have, having a little bit of a bug here, I believe, with our video, but we're going to try to keep this as uh, steady as we can. A little bugs. 
Bunch of bugs in the muffin. Gotta, gotta squash those bugs. Yeah, gotta squ gotta squash those bugs. This is the last stage. I imagine this is a lot harder in this game as well. Because you, you have a little bit bigger of a, a hitbox in yeah. this game. Was that jump potential yeah, at the beginning? Yeah, a little heavier. They feel a little heavier too? You like drop down quicker? That's yeah. a, that is another difference between the games. Uh, in TF2 it feels floaty, like you float around. But where in, whereas in uh, Source and in Go, you your player model has uh, a little bit of weight to it. And you'd have to play to play each game to know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just watching this, I'm just like Evo mind blown, you know what I'm saying? Dude, that is the best emote. Yeah. <laughs> Evo mind blow. Yeah. He's Twitch staff, so he can uh, he can say that. Is Nim the only one on the last stage? Oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're getting smoked by Nim, dude. Dude, you guys are getting smoked by every other year of Omnific. Come on now. You can do it. Oh yeah, Nim won last year. Oh yeah? I think so. I remember I that. I, I don't know. Oh, I have really bad memory. Guy. I have Alzheimer's. JK. Aren't you like 15? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's rough, dude. I'm sorry. It, it, it's early onset Alzheimer's. Sorry, man. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's that's that seems like the hardest part. If he can do the, actually the ending. Uh oh, for the kids. Do it for the schmoes. And the marshmallows. Get those. No. Ready. Oh. oh, we got another. We got another player on the last one. Ooh, welcome player. They were, both, they were both back to back, and they both failed. Oh, really? No. Alright, Truffle just passed Nim. So if you guys are just joining us right now, we are looking at the last stage of one of the hardest maps in surfing. And uh, three of these guys are facing off to see who's going to beat it first. This is about as close as this race can get. Yeah. Except for oh, me. he got it. Don't beef it. I beefed it the first time I got there. There we go, oh, boys. The oh. Well done, Truffle. Well done, Holding it down. Awesome. Keeping his map his own. Well done. We'll see the ending. This ending's pretty cool. That's spaceship too at that. There's a spaceship on this map. Whoa. Just you wait. Sorry for everyone who gave me their energy, but uh, <laughs> I just didn't use it. <laughs> You're saving it for later for ESEA uh, invite? Yeah. Let's put it in the energy bank. There it is <laughs> yeah. right there, actually. The with emotional the energy. ending to the surf segment with bananas. You want another banana? Ah, oh, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I kept it warm for I you. I don't think I can handle two bananas. All right. Yeah. Too much potassium. But I appreciate it, though. Did you, did you buy the banana hat, by the way? Someone gave it to me. Oh, that's yeah. very nice of them. PS3. Let's review PS triple. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if uh, do are we uh, still doing the knife raffle? If you donate five dollars within the next couple minutes before this segment ends, you have a chance to win one of six knives we are getting away, giving away. Um, yeah, get in there quick if you want. If you want in on, in the, on that raffle. Yeah, you don't have to enter towards a specific prize or anything. It's just if you donate five dollars at all You're during, during this window, you are entered. Yep. It's descending. It's very emotional. All right, so uh, he's taking all this Travelcopter's. This is the chat right now, mm -hmm. and Travelcopter's taking all of the energy. So he can escape. Give me your energy, chat. Yeah, chat. Please <laughs> give him his, his. Chat, give all your energy now. <laughs> we need to power up this. He's focusing the power ball. <laughs> all right, now we wait for the spaceship. <laughs> all right. He has all the energy. Oh, spoilers. The spaceship. Spoilers. There's spoilers. Does, uh, does anyone know the storyline for this map? The lore? Yeah. The yeah, lore. what's the lore? It's a Space Odyssey reference. Is it? I haven't it seen that be. movie. I think we might need to, to kill the music that we're listening to, because I think this has its own music in it, yeah. right? Yeah, if we can it do that. Sound effects, but not, not any music. Oh, really? 
Am I a liar? Yeah, you're a liar. Uh, uh, Sean, can you, or uh, Lang? Yes. I just read Sean on the monitor. That's okay. C PC computer, laptop. Right. PC. After this, do you want to plug the auctions a bit? Do you uh, know about the auctions or are you taking a snoozer? If the auctions are in the host document, then yes, yes. I know about them. Awesome. Truffle is taking the energy away from I'm taking your field. energy, chat. Here we go. <laughs> We're going into the ball. Oh my god. I've never <laughs> seen so much energy before. The energy is real. Oh my god, there's so much energy. Oh my god. He is a new man. Travelcopter has been transformed live on stream. Well, thank you, chat, for your energy. Thank you much, so much, guys, for surfing during this segment. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any shoutouts, you can do them real quick before we, uh, before right. we call. Shout out to Habitat. Shout out to Ego the King. Uh, shout out to my team. Shout out to KSF community. Shout out to Tordana, Enru, and everybody there. Malt, he's a cool guy. He made the timer. Thank you. And Knackers. And who? Knackers. All right, shout out to Knackers. I carry him in CSGO a lot. <laughs> Is that it? Just one shout out for one per. Uh, shout out to Deppy. None of you guys on have shout outs? Twitch Arena, Twitch to TV, a slash Travelcopter. Yeah, if you, if you enjoyed this segment, you, enjoy, you will enjoy Travelcopter's stream. He, is, uh, he will beat any map for you. Just throw, throw it in chat. Oh, he loves Jushed. <laughs> yeah. Just throw it in Shout chat and he'll beat it for you. Cool. Shout out to uh, Truck Truck and Mr. Sun. Aw, oh, thanks. Hey, Shout nice. out to them kids. Yeah, no problem, man. Shout out to them kids. Shout out to them kids. And yeah, thank you both of you for commenting this segment. You did a wonderful job. And thank you to all the surfers as well for joining and planning this segment out. Uh, super entertaining, super fun to watch. I, for one, am incredibly relaxed. Did you get <laughs> ASMR from it? Uh, I, I sure did, Kurt. Uh, and with that, with that power I received from that, I want to talk a little bit about these auctions. Uh, we are holding those in our Steam group. Uh, I believe we have a link to that on the Twitch info section under there. I'm sure we'll get that in chat as well. So if you go to the Tip of the Hat Steam group, you can find information on these auctions. They're just like a standard auction. There's a bidding war that we're going to have on some of these items that didn't quite fit into our raffles, but they just make more sense as an auction. So if you want to check those out, find more details on what all those auctions are, head on over to the Steam group. You can find that there. Are we ready to go to a brief intermission now? I think we might be. Yeah, brief intermission, guys. Uh, right, we'll be right back with... Uh, some stuff. Yeah, we're actually going to go to a brief intermission and we'll be right back with pubs. So uh, don't go anywhere. Cool.